This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. But as for me, I will trust in you, O Lord. You are my God, and my time is in your hand. Let us pray. Almighty God, you are holy, just, and righteous. We come before your throne to worship and adore you. We bow down and worship you in the beauty of holiness. The heavens declare your glory, and from our hearts and lips we offer you praise and thanksgiving. We bless your holy name, our Lord and our God. Eternal, loving, and merciful God, we confess our sins in our thoughts, words, and actions against you and our neighbors. In your mercy and grace, forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Free us from selfishness and self-righteousness that we may choose your will and obey your commandments. Gracious God, we thank you for your forgiveness and your cleansing. We thank you for your protection and your provision and your guidance through your grace and mercy and faithfulness. Most of all, we thank you for our Lord and Redeemer, the Lord Jesus Christ, who died for our sins and rose again to give us a new and in eternal life in you. Lead us daily by your Holy Spirit, so that in and through our lives, we will bring glory to you and to you alone. And as you have taught your disciples to pray, we pray likewise. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Today it's a privilege to come to you with words of encouragement. We hope that as you listen, that the God of peace and comfort will comfort you. Whatever you might be going through, whatever you might be facing, that God's peace and God's words will bring comfort to your heart. Let us turn to our scripture today as we read from God's word. Our first scripture reading is taken from Psalm 119, verse 105 to 112. Psalm 119, verses 105 to 112. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. I have sworn and confirmed that I will keep your righteous judgment. I am afflicted very much. Revive me, O Lord, according to your word. Accept, I pray thee, free will offerings of my mouth, O Lord, and teach me your judgments. My life is continually in my hand, yet I do not forget your law. The wicked have laid a snare for me, yet I have not strayed from your precepts. Your testimonies I have taken as a heritage forever. For they are the rejoicing of my heart. I have inclined my heart to perform your statues forever to the very end. Our second reading is taken from Matthew chapter 13 verses 18 to 23. That's our gospel reading. Matthew chapter 13 verses 18 through 23. Therefore hear the parable of the sower. When anyone hears the word of the kingdom and does not understand it, then the wicked one comes and snatches it away, what was sown in his heart. This is he who received seed by the wayside. But he who received the seed on stony places, this is he who hears the word and immediately receives it with joy. Yet he has no root in himself, but endures only for a while. For when tribulation or persecution arises, because of the word immediately he stumbles. Now he who received the seed among the thorns is he who hears the word 
and the cares of this world and the deceitfulness of riches choke the word and he becomes unfruitful. But he who receives seed on the good ground is he who hears the word and understands it, who indeed bears fruit and produces some a hundredfold, some sixty, and some thirty. And for our third reading today, we will turn to First Peter chapter 2 verses 1 through 3. First Peter chapter 2 verses 1 through 3. Therefore, laying aside all malice, all deceit, hypocrisy, envy, and all evil speaking, as newborn babes, desire the pure milk of the word, that you may grow thereby, if indeed you have tasted that the Lord is gracious. The word of the Lord, thanks be to God. God add his richest blessings to his holy word. Let us pray. Almighty God, we come before you, your throne, your throne of grace and mercy and love and kindness and faithfulness. Into your hands we commit your church, your body, your family. We pray today that you will bless your family. We pray today that you will restore and revive each heart. We pray today that all your children will set their hearts and their minds upon you. And Father, that you will bless them. You will bless them spiritually. You will bless them physically. We pray for those that are sick. We pray that you will touch them from the crown of their head to the sole of their feet. Touch them from the inside and through to the outside. We pray, God, that in your healing power, that whatever will be done will be done so that a testimony and a witness will be given for your healing power. We pray, O oh God, that you will bless your children financially and that you will give them the wisdom to spend it wisely and to save. Lord, we pray for the government of the world, especially our country. Father, that you will grant unto the leadership knowledge, understanding and wisdom that they may lead their countries justly and rightly and that the leadership will put the country first they will rule rightly and their provision and their plan and programs will be in the best interest of the people of their countries lord we pray for men and women everywhere those that will hear your word we pray that it will be convicting to them they will turn to you in repentance and confession. They will come to you and as they confess of their sins and repent of their sins, you will forgive them. You will cleanse them. You will make them part of your family, you being the Father. Lord, we pray for the peace of our world. We ask that your peace that pass on all understanding by your Holy Spirit will grip and take over the hearts and minds of men and women. We pray for the peace of Jerusalem, that you may keep your holy city peaceful. Lord, we just thank you for what you're going to do today. We ask that you will help us bring healing to our land, physically healing in the spite of all the medical problems and the crisis we face worldwide. Lord, we ask that you will bless us today and that all things will be done for your honor and your glory. We pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen and Amen.